Let's talk about five essential accessories for the DJI Mini 3 Pro and one that's not. Regardless if you're buying the drone by itself, because you already have one of these laying around, or you're buying these two together, or even the setup where you buy the new DJI RC smart controller together with the drone. There are some additional essential accessories that you need to pick up to make full advantage of your purchase. And the first one I want to mention is the SD card. Without an SD card, you will not get far recording. Of course, there are some internal storage on the drone, but that will not take you very far. So you need to pick up a good, solid, reliable SD card that you can use to store your footage. I've been through various brands uh, through the years, uh, but I always uh, revert back to the SanDisk Extreme Pro. Those seems to be pretty reliable and I haven't had one that had failed on me yet. And because the drone is capable of recording 4K 60 FPS, the bandwidth is actually quite high on this drone. So you need to make sure that you pick up an SD card that has a sufficient uh, transfer speed. And the way that you determine that your card is fast enough is to look at the labeling of the card. There are some speed classes printed onto this that will show you the capabilities of the card. As long as you pick one that is labeled U3 or V3, you are good to go. The size of the SD card is a personal preference. Uh, you could just choose uh, 32, 64, 128 and even up to 256. Some like to keep the card small in case that you lose the drone or you break the card that you minimize the damage and the cost involved. I usually use 128 gigabyte and I have made it a habit that I empty the footage every time that I've completed a flight. In that way, I always have enough storage space and don't run into that problem when I'm on site. And to be quite honest, the price of a 128 gigabyte card is quite insignificant compared to the rest of what you have purchased. The next item is additional batteries. You need to pick up additional batteries. The drone is only delivered with a single one and that is far from enough to cover most of your needs. On paper, you will be able to fly 34 minutes on a single battery, but in real life, this is more like 25. And when you get on location, you will often find yourself using a full battery just to scout around to figure out what it is that you're going to film. So I would definitely recommend that you pick up some additional batteries. And three in total is a really good number. And these batteries, of course, need to be charged. So you could decide just to plug them in the drone and then hook it up to some USB-C and then you could basically charge one battery at a time. But a much clever solution is to use this charging cradle that will allow you to plug in the batteries, three of them in total, and then hook them up to USB-C. Then they're being charged one at a time without you doing anything. The cradle also offers the opportunity through a USB-A to hook up the remote so you can get everything charged on a single charger. The cradle also very conveniently allow you to check the current charge of the batteries. With that said, it would have been nice to see the individual charge of the battery when you're out in the field. You can of course do that by plugging it into the drone. And now we are talking charger. There are no wall charger included with the drone, not even with the Flymore kit, you're getting that option. So you'd have to go out and purchase one of these uh, babies by yourself. I would recommend to go for a really strong one, like a 65 watt version that will uh, shorten down your charging times significantly. There are some really good cheap ones on Amazon that you could pick up, but maybe you already have one laying around that you can use for the purpose. I often use my MacBook charger. That's a pretty powerful uh, power supply that sometimes does the job when I'm on the road. So leaving out the charger is maybe a deliberate choice to bring down the number of chargers that are in circulation. But it is annoying that you need to go and pick one up unless you have something at home that you can use instead. Most of your drone filming is probably going to be done during daytime. And if that is the case, I would recommend that you pick up a set of ND filters for your drone. The reason why I want to recommend that for video is to bring down the shutter speed that otherwise would be really crazy fast when you're filming during daylight. The side effect of a high shutter is that everything is looking stuttery and very mechanical and not very smooth. The way to increase the smoothness of the footage is to reduce the shutter speed. I made a ton of videos about that subject here on the channel. And I would say, 
If you have to buy one extra accessories apart from what is needed to fly the drone, ND fillers are the ones. Then you have the choice if you want to use the regular ND fillers that doesn't add or subtract anything to your footage because they are neutral density fillers, or you could choose the polarized version that will help you boost saturations uh, when you're out filming. You do need to be aware that these needs to be into a certain position to get the maximum polarized effect. So they are a little bit more cumbersome to use. So if you want a safe bet that just help you reduce the shutter speed of your drone, you should go for the regular ND fillers. These fillers are from Freewell, they're pretty affordable, and I will make sure to leave a link in the description below. But you can pick up any ND filter that will do the job. Just make sure that you pick up those that are actually neutral and do not color shift your footage. Are there any other essential accessories that you would recommend that you pick up for your drone? something that you couldn't live without when you're out flying, then let us know in the comments below. So I do want to mention this because I see this every time that I'm searching for accessories for uh, all of the drones that I have, is these flotation devices. That you can strap on these pontoons below the drone that will allow it to land and take off from water. And I do want to advise against this. This is by far the stupidest solution, uh, apart from the idea of strapping on a parachute to your drone. There are several reasons why I would not recommend using those. They are adding additional weight to your drone. So instead of being a sub 250 gram drone, this will no longer be the case as these are normally 20 grams or more. You are adding a significantly drag to your drone when you're flying around with this gear. And this will probably shorten down the battery time significantly. It's bad as it is already now, not getting 34 minutes, but maybe only 25. And that would even get worse if you strap on a flotation device like this. But this is basically not the worst part. I could easily see that you could end up in a situation where you maybe land, there's a little bit of wave on the water and the drone would actually end flipping upside down. So it will not sink with these flotation devices uh, mounted, but it will definitely be wet. Have you tried one of these flotation devices? Then share your experience below, because I actually have a hard time finding the justification for a product like that, and it's definitely not worth the risk. I do want to round off this video by saying that DJI have made it possible for you to buy more of the essential accessories under one bundle that they call the Fly More Kit, where you're getting some additional props and a bag as well. So maybe that would be an overall easier solution. I think it's around 185 US dollars to get the Fly More Kit. Also, there's a plus option battery available that could be very interesting. Unfortunately, this is not available in all parts of the world, which is why it did not make it on my list. All right, I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.